is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Put your hands together. Say this with us. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Amen. We honor our chief overseer, Dr. Rebecca Fletcher, presiding state bishop, chief helper, Bishop Clary K. Butler, to our prelate everywhere, bishops, elders, pastors, people of God, those of you who desire to be the people of God, right where you are, just say, consecrate me, Lord. None of me and all of you, consecrate me, Lord. Our call to worship I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, We come and we tell you thank you, God, for another chance to lift up your name on this Sunday morning. God, search our hearts, God. Search our minds, God. If you find anything that's not like you, God, oh, move it out of the way. We want to be like you, Jesus. You made us in your image and your likeness, God. So we want to walk like you. We want to look like you, God. We want to speak as you speak, God. Speak to us and speak through us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch right now, God, everybody in the listening audience, wherever they are, God, in church this morning, God via Facebook or YouTube or Zoom, God, wherever they are. Touch right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, to be like Jesus. Meek and lowly, humble and holy. Help us to press to be more like you in the mighty name of Jesus. And now, God, send a word to these, your people, God. A lifting word, God. Consecrating word, God. In this revival season, God, let somebody cry out, God, create in me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within me. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and be counted done because we have asked as you said to ask. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> presence Lord with arms open wide with lifted hands and with open hearts we welcome you to a
Amen. We thank God for you. Spirit, I need you to fall fresh on me. I believe each and every one of us could say that today. No matter how long you've been saved, how strong you think you are, we all need a fresh anointing. And God can, and he will, if you invite him into your heart. Spirit, fall fresh on me. It's fitting that that is the closing song for, my closing song for this revival season. It's in the house part six. Oh, Spirit, I need you to fall fresh on me. Not that we're not singing the song, we're not praying the prayer, but, oh, God, send a fresh anointing in our praise. And I worship God. For some of us, it's been a while since we lined the hymn. And we knelt at the altar, God, but we're kneeling before your throne in our hearts, God. And we don't want to become complacent in our worship. So, Spirit, send a fresh anointing. Fall fresh on us. Amen. We're going into the Word of God. Word of God for the people of God. It's in the house, part six. Scriptures on this morning. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 11. Numbers 11 and 1. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 23. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Jude 1 and 4, Romans 16 and 7, Galatians chapter 5 verse 17, St. Luke chapter 11 verse 24 through 26, and Revelation chapter 2 verse 2a. Seems like a lot of scriptures, but they're all short. Somebody say, Lord, God send a word. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 11. And if you walk contrary unto me and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Numbers 11 and 1. Now the people became like those who complain of adversity in the hearing of the Lord. And when the Lord heard it, his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed some of, on, of the outskirts of the camp. Proverbs chapter 4. Good instructions from a father to a son. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ears. Listen unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. What's in the heart? First John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, do not believe every spirit. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. You can't believe everything you hear. You can't be a part of every church. Everybody who says they set up a church is not in God. For certain persons, Jude 1 and 4 says, for certain persons have crept in unnoticed. Some people are so subtle. The devil is so subtle in what he does. Those who were long beforehand marked out for their condemnation. Ungodly persons who turn the grace of our God into licentiousness and deny our only master and Lord Jesus Christ. But Apostle Paul said in chapter 16, Romans 16 and 17, Now I urge you, brethren, 
Keep your eye on those who cause dissensions and hindrance contrary to the teaching which you learn and turn away from them. You can't be everybody's friend and you can't be in everybody's company. I don't care how strong you are. If you're not careful, the devil will change your mind. He'll change your heart. He'll change your actions. He'll change your attitude. So Apostle Paul admonished the Romans, the church, to say, those that were in the church there, be careful who you're hanging with. Some people ain't nothing but trouble. That's all they know. And they prey on those that they find as weak-minded. Galatians chapter 5, verse 17, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that you would. When your spirit is messed up, when your heart is messed up, you may want to do right, but if you let the wrong spirit get in your heart, it'll have you saying yes to some things you want to say no to. You'll be saying no to all the right things. Guard your heart, as Solomon told David. St. Luke chapter 11, verse 24 through 26, when the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places, seeking rest and finding none. It says, I will return to my house from which I came. Look out now, it's not his house. But if you're not careful, we told you a few Sundays ago, you got to bind the strong man. The strong man will come in, and he don't want to just stay in an extra bedroom. He want to take over your house. And before long, your house becomes his house, and then you are just a tenant. And he is the landlord. He'll dictate you things out of the will of God. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself. And they enter and dwell there, and the last state of that person is worse than the first. If you're wondering what we're talking about, before you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you may be wrestling with one demonic spirit. But oh, but when you go back on God, that strong man sends company back. Seven more along with what you had. And it's a war going on. The flesh against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Revelation chapter 2 verse 2a. The I am himself spoke. And we're not going to read the whole verse. But chapter 2 verse 2a. And if you read and follow along in the word. You'll see that the I am God kept repeating the same statement. I know thy works. I know thy works. He know if it's good. He know if it's bad. You can hide from man, but we cannot hide from God. Sometime on the natural job, you may be able to hide from the boss man. But God sees and knows all. You cannot hide anything from God. There are no secrets. You think you've got secrets? You don't have any secrets from God. He knows all about it. When we look at the term contrary spirits, it's a fact or condition incompatible with another, opposite in nature or character, opposite, adverse, moving against or in an opposite direction as contrary winds, contradictory, not merely different, but inconsistent or repugnant. Warring, the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary, the one to the other. Contrary spirits. Demons. When we look at the term in the house, it means in the mind, within a person, within the church. God gave John detailed diagnosis, a detailed diagnosis for the seven churches in the book of Revelation. Satan had invaded God's house and levied diverse and contrite 
contrary spirits, demonic spirits, in each of the seven churches. God also gave John the prescription for the church deliverance and healing in the same book of Revelation. The world and many of us in the church are inquiring about the coronavirus pandemic. Many are asking what is the cause and what is the remedy? Tell somebody the word, diagnose the problem. Now tell them Jesus is the remedy. The church at Ephesus in Revelation chapter 2. Everybody didn't have the same problem, but they all had some kind of problem, some kind of contrary spirit to the word of God. The church at Ephesus had left their first love. They knew the doctrine, but they had lost their passion for their service and commitment to God. Just going through the motion. The church at Smyrna had developed the spirit of cowardice and intimidation. They cowed down and came to accept or welcome demonic spirits of the world and the government. But God said, come out from among them and be thou separated. They did not have the courage to stand up for what was right. Somebody composed the song, God don't want, and he can't use a coward soldier in his army. The church at Pergamos, they had developed the spirit of compromise. Some are confused in the spirit, giving to seducing spirits and doctrines. Sad to admit, the church is adapting to the community and its environment. The environment around us that walk in darkness. Christ commissioned us through the baptism of the Holy Ghost to witness to lost souls and lead them to Christ. Letting our light shine so that dying men and women can find their way home. It's starting to appear that some of us have snuffed out our candles and are willing to swing hand in hand, walking lockstep with the world. Satan has slithered his way from the dark corners of the street to the front seat of the church pew. But God is not a God of compromise. We shouldn't look like the world. We shouldn't act like the world. He said, put a difference between holy and unholy, between clean and unclean. Holy Ghost wisdom will tell you everything can't be right. But if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. Joshua in the 24th chapter told Israel, Enough of this back and forth. Make up your mind. Choose you this day whom you will serve. If God be God, serve God. But if Baal be Baal, serve Baal. The church at Thyatira had adopted the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of control and defiance against leadership an unruly spirit of warring against discipleship in Christ. Some people will not agree no matter what you try to do. They have decided, they have agreed to disagree. Their character and their worship became idolatrous. Sardis was financially prosperous but spiritually bankrupt. They observed all the traditions of church, 
They were experienced in lining the hymn, but there was no virtue in their praise. They sat with their lips pursed and hands properly placed across their laps. They showed up on Sunday morning, casket sharp for church. It's fitting since God listed them in the spiritual obituary as dead, having no power, no power, no God, no God, no power. The evidence of a dead church when there's no movement of the Holy Ghost, when the power of the Holy Ghost is not manifest and embraced in a church it's on its way to the graveyard John chapter 3 verse 8 the wind blows where it wills so is everyone who is born of the spirit if the Holy Ghost is on the inside you ought to show some sign another sign of a dead church it lacks leadership. Lead and feed God's flock. If you're going to be a pastor, if you want to be the preacher, not about your paycheck, but lead and feed God's people. Sardis wore the name of life, but that church had died. It was an organization, but it was not a living sacrifice. They were going to church. Going to church is good if you come to meet God there. A song is not worship unless it ushers in the presence of God. In a dying church, there are at times a handful of sincere members still trying to serve God. Encourage yourself and encourage one another. Remember teamwork makes the dream work. The church at Philadelphia had the spirit of weakness. God said they had a little strength, but Philadelphia need to stretch out in faith and trust in the power of God. God has always been the champion of the underling. God knows how to take a little and make it much. The church at Laodicea, they had the spirit of pride and conceit. They had financial wealth, but were in poor spiritual health. God appraised them and find them to be a lukewarm church. They were nauseating. They made him sick to his stomach. They lived in nice homes. They drove fine cars, but they were complacent, content, unmotivated, and unproductive. They were not cold, but they were also not hot. What happened to your fire for the Lord? Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? You don't pray like you used to pray. What's the matter now? You don't sing like you used to sing. They had lost the fire of love for God and compassion for lost souls. They became routine with an agenda of business as usual. They were arrogant and had no fear for God, no respect for his leaders. Laodicea was dying and they thought they were alive. They were on their way to hell from the front pew in the church because of the sin of omission. They took God for granted. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. They lack fellowship with God. They forsook fellowship. They showed up when they wanted to show up. Some had already neglecting assembling before coronavirus came on the scene come on you know it's the truth some of us we came and we felt like coming 
It was a blatant choice to stay at home in our warm seal houses while God's house went to waste. Nobody should ever have to prime you and ask you to praise God. The songwriter said that I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. My soul cries hallelujah, hallelujah for my healing, hallelujah for my deliverance. Yet Jesus is still knocking at the doors of somebody's heart, waiting for somebody to open up and let him in. Do yourself a favor while you still have time. Open the door and let him in to your heart. He'll remove the stony heart and give you a heart of love. Let him in. He'll restore your family. He'll restore your church. He'll restore your marriage. He'll restore your children. The remedy. What can we do about contrary spirits? James chapter 4, verse 8 through 10. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning. And your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. They picked it up. If you go back in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. And will heal their land. Evict the contrary spirits in the church. And Christ said, he will come in and sup with you. He's waiting to abide with you in your house. But he will not come in and sit at the table with contrary spirits will you open the door and let him in if it ever was a time we need to rebuke and evict contrary spirits out of God's house the time is now we thank God we went through a process to clean the church and the air because of coronavirus from the front door all through the building so that when we return to the building it will be safe to do so investing in systems to keep the air purified but you know with all that we're doing if your heart is not right cleaning the church won't make it right cleaning the building won't make it right you got to make up your mind just as I am. But Lord, I don't want to leave here as I came. You can't get to heaven any kind of way. Contrary spirits, cast them out. Satan can't cast out Satan. But come to the throne of grace. And Jesus will cast it out through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Contrary spirits in the house it's time to cast them out clean this house and if you allow God he will clean your house David was so messed up he just told God give me another heart he said create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me cast out the contrary spirits amen God bless you heaven smile on you Amen. We thank God for your contrary spirits in the house. 
And if we lean on God, we will be able to say this house is clean. Not the building, but your spiritual tabernacle. God will clean it up. Amen. We thank God for you. We pray that the word has reached somebody who's confused in spirit and in mind. Saints of God, don't stay in that condition. Contrary spirits will drive you out of your mind. But God is able to restore peace, happiness, and joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to tell you thank you for your cleansing blood, God, that's able to drive out every contrary spirit, God, and make us hold and new again in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone that's wrestling right now, God, standing with a divergent spirit, not sure which way to turn, confused in spirit and mind, God, touch right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Move out whatever is contrary to your word, that we will be righteous vessels to give a praise of sacrifice unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that husband, that wife that's confused in that marriage, those children that are confused in the home, work it out, God. Do your blood, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone is wrestling right now, God, with identity. God, you can fix it. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask as you said to ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We thank God for you. That concludes this message on today. Contrary spirits in the house. But it don't have to be that way. You're of one body. We ought to be of the same mind. And the word said, let that mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. We thank God for you. Heaven smile on you. We pray that this message lifted someone and encouraged them to draw closer to God. If you draw closer to him, he will draw closer to you. And straighten out your family life, that marriage. Bring husband and wife back close together again. Children under the dominion of God's law. Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for the house of God church everywhere we are established. We say to you that the House of God Church is established throughout the United States, in Africa, in Canada, in Haiti, in Jamaica. Surely there's a church somewhere near you. House of God Church has been around since 1903. We thank God for our founder, Mother MFL Tate. Look us up online. Solid found house built on a solid foundation. In the name of Jesus, go to our website, the national website if you'd like, and look and find out more about the church. Amen. Look us up, hogc.org. Look up the House of God Church, and then look up the House of God Church, Harleyville. Our website, if you decide that you want to be in a part of the House of God, keep them in ministries in your area, contact that pastor. If you want to be a part of the House of God Church, keep dominion in Harleyville. Yours truly, Elder Barbara Taylor, is the pastor. Send a message to Messenger. Look us up online. Send us an email message. I will reach back out to you. Others have. You reach out. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you need a covering. And Jesus died to cover us all. His blood covers us all. Amen. Thank you. Heaven smile on you. God bless you. At this time, that this concludes this message these services for this day a benediction uplifted hands now may the grace of god sweet communion of the holy ghost and fire forever rest rule and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore let us all say in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost and the people of god said amen Again, i've seen by